Hi, this is Mary the Medicine Woman, and this video goes along with my blog post all about the barriers to self-care. I'm joined today by my lovely daughter, Ariel McCleary, and self-care, the things that prevent us from taking care of ourselves can be not setting aside the time and energy to do so, take care of yourself, not knowing what you need in the moment, and also listening to other forces outside of yourself when it comes to what you should do for you. But what we want to talk about today is another barrier to self-care, which Ariel brought up to me, and that is guilt. So even though you may know what you need, you've set aside this, the time to give it to you yourself, and you're actually engaging in some sort of self-care, you end up feeling really <laughs> guilty, which I think in a way ruins the whole thing. <laughs> it does. It really does. It really ruins it. Yeah, it does. Um, I know I have a big problem with feeling guilty when I need to give myself time to rest, to uh, take a nap. I have a very hard time taking naps because uh, I'm laying there. It's true. Okay. I, I I, mean, I'm good at relaxing, I guess, mm -hmm. but taking naps is like... When you need it. Yeah, yeah. when I'm tired, I just like mm. lay in my bed and all that's going through my head is I could be doing this, I could be doing that, mm. I could be talking to this person, I could be doing this project, whatever, and then I can't fall asleep because my brain is telling me, you shouldn't be doing this, you should be doing something else. Yeah, it's a... That's yeah. a big problem. Yeah, because my body needs rest, but my brain's right. like, mm, are you sure? You can push through another couple hours of no sleep. Yeah. But, you know, when I need it, yeah. It's 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 I, the pushing through, I think, is a big problem um, for women that want to take on a lot and are doing a lot. We just always think that there's a little bit more that we can give somebody else. Mm -hmm. And that's oftentimes that little bit <laughs> should be reserved for oneself. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so then how do you get past the guilt that's a great question i think Please it's answer. something i'm still working on because i'm only, we all are i'm only 26 we're, and we're you know, all working on it mm -hmm. yes but i think i can give myself self-care in other ways i found that naps aren't really my strong suit but i know that there are other ways i can self-care that rejuvenate me so for example just laying down and listening to music that helps. But so you don't feel guilty about that? No, I think, I don't know why. why. It's I think it's, I can still give myself the space to rest. It's not the same as sleeping, hmm. but resting and listening to calming music, that helps, um, I don't know, get rid of the busyness in my brain of like, you know, the guilt oh, of you shouldn't be doing okay. this. It just shuts it down. And then I can just listen to relaxing jazz, coffee, coffee shop okay, jazz. Okay, so you or... found a way to kind of like out trick yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, so if the thoughts are coming that you shouldn't be doing this and you should be doing something else, you do something that allows your brain to kind of settle in. Yes. And okay. So the guilt is gone. Or for oh, a moment, a it's good... quiet. <laughs> that's such a great trick mm -hmm. that you figured yeah. that out. Okay. Yes. Um, another thing is what I did today, coincidentally, didn't plan <laughs> to, but um, I decided to put on an outfit that I, like something I normally don't wear. So this like kind of, I don't know. It's... It's kind of Super cutesy, cute. mm -hmm. I don't know, coffee shop girl mm -hmm. overalls, and uh, I, like, never wear this, so I wanted to try it on today, put some makeup on, um, really put effort into my overall look instead of just throwing on sweatpants and a t-shirt to work from home, um, and that helps a lot with self-care because it shows myself I'm worth being dressed nicely, which, of course, you know so much about because that's you love my, dressing your I person. I do love dressing my person. <laughs> And that's interesting. And I'm wondering the connection between that and guilt. I see a little connection there with doing something for yourself that shows the outside world and yourself that you're worthy. Mm. So so whatever we care for that we feel is worthy, we'd never feel guilty about that. Like yeah. nobody feels guilty if they spend some time taking care of their child or their pet or their right. friend. Yeah. Because they because we they see that person as, as a having value. Yep. So what I hear you saying is when you dress in a certain way and make yourself up nice, it's showing that you have value to yourself mm -hmm. and that again helps circumvent the guilt. Yeah. That makes so much sense. It's oh my like, gosh. And it's like you need to, like you said, you need to treat yourself as though you treat your child, mm -hmm. your friend who you care dearly about, your partner, whatever. Like Something you valuable have, and precious. Yeah. you have. They have so much value and you know that. Why wouldn't we treat ourselves the same way? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So I, I love this. I hope it is helpful to find ways to trick your mind out of the, <laughs> the that negative thinking that says that you're not worth it and you should be doing something else. And also to treat yourself as a valuable person because you are 
and that helps circumvent the guilt that can be a big barrier to self-care. Thank you, Ariel. Thank you, Thank too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.